A student prank or cruel public humiliation? A university student has put images of a drunk and homeless man dancing on the streets of Derby on the internet for the world to see. On this video, a homeless man is asked to dance for the camera. It's been viewed online more than 2,000 times. One member of the Facebook group left the comment, cruel but hilarious. It's part of a web page that features dozens of other photos of homeless people in Derby and also invites users to upload more. Helen Finch has tonight's top story. These are images of a homeless man from Derby being goaded into dancing for the camera. His face is one of a number that now appears on a web page created by students dedicated to featuring the city's homeless community in various poses. The site has left those working at one of Derby's homeless charities outraged. It really did make me feel queasy. I felt sick when I saw a video clip of um, Derby's Dancing Tramp, as it was called. It's just a lot of mockery, a lot of jeering um, over people with, who were less fortunate than themselves, really. I was introduced to some of those who used the Padley Centre. Wayne, what do you think about pictures like this being put on websites for people's sort of enjoyment? That's sad. And that, that bloke there, uh, that one there, that's the one that lives in the marketplace. All right, we've got our own selves in a predicament, but it's not right. That man is not doing anybody any harm. He's just homeless, that's all. It's not his fault. And these are the students behind the web page. They say people are taking it all far too seriously. It's degrading in, one res in, in some respects, yeah. But... It did go a bit out of hand. Though, I think it's fair. got completely out of hand. Yeah. It's, it's a it's big a storm joke. It's a teacup. It's not as. I it's mean, a, it's it, more it, of a celebration of the, the bizarre characters. characters that you find yeah. around Derby. And this whole thing is just completely set up innocently. But some are concerned this so called celebration could damage the image of Derby itself. I think if they were to look at themselves, they think they probably hadn't done the right thing and they're probably slightly ashamed of it and maybe what they should be doing now is volunteering for a homeless charity for a time to actually see what it's like on the front line. The Paddy Centre looks after around 100 homeless people every day in Derby and they say they'd like to show the students that life on the streets is no laughing matter. Helen Finch in Derby for Central Tonight. Well, earlier today we spoke to two people who've been involved in marketing Derby to the world, Ram FM's DJs Dino and Pete. They've helped make a promotional video of the city's highlights. They told us these pictures show a very different Derby to the one they've been trying to promote. They do, yeah, we think Derby's a great place. Obviously, you know, we work here, so maybe we're slightly biased, but there are, there are so many positive things about Derby and Derbyshire that, you know, to see those images is a little bit disturbing, to be honest. And you've got your own images now, you've got them on YouTube, what's that all about? Well, it's just, it's, it's such a change in place, I mean, that's, that's Derby, the city centre, you've only got to look around you now and you can see lots of things that are happening, it's a, it should be a, a very positive time, and uh, it seems that people are, are kind of almost poking fun at some of the negative, the negative images that you'll see, but you'll see that in any city. But there is a danger, isn't there? I mean, high-profile publicity campaigns like yours may be glossing over real problems like homelessness. What would you say to that? I don't think in Derby homelessness is as big an issue as uh, people watching that video there may have thought, to be honest with you. I think um, a lot of this is uh, sort of a student prank. It's a lot of rivalry between uh, Derby and Nottingham. A lot to do with the football teams, a lot to do with students. You know, I mean, my guess is the, uh, the students who put that on YouTube will be out having a few jars tonight, uh, probably walking home with rocos on their heads, singing daft songs and that kind of thing. I really do think it's uh, a bit of a prank, and I don't think uh, homelessness is as big an issue in Derby as it is in a lot of other, other cities, actually. You mentioned it as a student prank, which is fair enough, but students are intelligent people. Shouldn't they be a little bit more sensitive to how people are going to react to topics like this, topics like homelessness, which are a big issue? Absolutely. I mean, anybody that's, that you've seen in those images there, unfortunately, there's a story, uh, a story of hardship uh, about anybody that's pictured in, in the positions where you've, you know, you've just seen them on the video there. And, and that's the sad thing. They're, they're real people with real stories. And I guess the thing to do is find out the stories behind them and why they're in that position in the first place before you kind of poke fun and, and do what's happened with the pictures on YouTube. That's Ram FM's DJs Dino and Pete speaking to us a little earlier on.